Hello everyone, and welcome back to Subnautica. I, of course, am Papa Grimgrin. Now let's go and face our destiny. I think I should just dive into the water. But I'm not gonna. We're gonna find a ramp down. Alrighty, where are you? Alright, fine, I guess I'm going in. Uh, maybe I should have brought Jerry. Yeah, I'm thinking I should have brought Jerry. Ah, oh, crap, how do I get out? Oh no, can I not get out? <gasps> Am I trapped here? No way. Can't be trapped here, right? Whoa! Oh, look at you! Are you here to play? Others came here. Tag? Once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. I'm sorry? Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. Hi. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Oh, you are massive. I mean, it said Sea Emperor Leviathan. Patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. I'm thinking they have been telepathically pacified by this thing. Okay. Well, cool. I'm glad we saw you. How do I get back up? Do you know the way back up? Can you pick me up and put me Unlike there? Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear cool. at this time. That's wonderful. Um, I'm gonna run out of air eventually. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm sure this will lead somewhere. I will take you by on cue. Give, give, give to me. Thank you. Oh, I'll go to teleporter. Into the pudding! So that's the Sea Emperor. It's a big, lovely creature. Oh, I'm all the way up here now. Don't hurt, don't hurt, don't hurt! Ooh. Ow, my ankles! All right, this time we're going to go back and bring the Jer Bear. Here we go. We're going to get our scan on, too, while we're at it, Jerry. Why are you standing? Jerry, sit. 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 I can't be mad at you, Jerry. You're just so precious. Alrighty. Well, let's hop back into the soup. Love how you can't see in this water. Splash. Crash. Alrighty. Now, what I believe needs to happen is I need to get a scan of the Sea Emperor. And that's what we're going to try and do. Well, unfortunately, it swims like a thousand times faster than I do. So we're just going to try and like head it off. Oh, can I not scan you? Well, fine. We'll scan, uh, we'll scan up some predators. And I never could get a scan of a bone shark before, because I didn't feel like staying out where he could eat me. 
Oh, hey, eggs. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form. Let's go get which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Awesome. Good to know. Glad I know it. Cheer bear. And there was a teleporter there, but it's kind of covered in crap. So, it may not be crap. Oh, good. Another. Okay, I own you. I have those. Yes. My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have yes, been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you, you help us, that for me? I will give you freely what the others tried in vain yeah. to take. Can you open that up for me then? away the crud. Oh, you are awesome. I love giant monsters and things. Um, uh, like, I'm a huge Godzilla fan and everything else like that. And the fact that... Uh... There you go. I opened the portal for you. Anything else? With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right. And break free of their shells. Okay. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Cool. Oh, hatching enzymes. So I need to provide the juice to make your babies pop. That seems dirtier than it actually is. All right, um, I will go ahead and read this one. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the sea emperor's natural lifestyle. Life cycle, not style. Uh, this creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallower waters. Family size would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg-laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once-in-a-lifetime event. The species likely had a preferred environment for egg-laying, in fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that the introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have had catastrophic effects on the Emperor's food supply and survival rate. The symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms likely developed as a resu direct result of the bacterial infection. The ill's life forms, which uh, sorry, those life forms which learned to keep the emperor alive, survived with its help. This may explain the vast traces of lifeless ocean and a rough perimeter around the emperor's location. Cool. Good to know. Uh, let's pop out and uh, see about this thing real quick. Oh. I need the hatching enzymes first. Oh, we scan you. Oh, I thought these were dragon eggs. Are these sea emperor eggs? Uh, shell, tubes, amniotic sac, and a fetal organism inside. Yep, that sounds like an egg. Anybody else like eggs? Get a little scramble going on while you're waiting for the... Uh, embryo and the alien tubes inside. Okay, where... Oh, where are my hatching enzymes? It's eye stalks, sea crown, fungal sample, ghost weed, and bulb bush. 
I'm pretty sure I know where most of this stuff is. I'm fairly certain. All right, Jerry, are you coming with me, Jerry Bear? For we go forth into the world. Oh, I popped out where there are Reaper Leviathans. Not cool, bruh. Where are... Where is he? I don't know where he is. Um, do I just go back? Is he behind the teleporter? Yeah, I know. I'm over here by the gun, aren't I? I'm like 90% sure I'm over here by the gun. Um. Ah, oh crap. The music's picking up. It's going in battle mode. Aha. Uh -huh. I believe that's the entrance to the moon pool for the gun. I don't need to go in there. You just need to not get eaten by a Reaper Leviathan trying to get back to base. Alright, well the roaring has subsided. This is good news. Um, let me think. Ghostweed was in the Blood Kelp Trenches. And other areas similar. Let's see, where does. Is there anything in here that I might need? Some of this stuff I'm not totally sure about, like the fungal. Um, could be mushroom forest stuff, could be something else entirely. And there's the roaring again, but I'm inside a cave, so I don't care. Unless I am exiting the cave soon, in which case I might care. These are some big caves. Uh, maybe this will take me all the way up and dump me out of the... No. Dumps me out right here. Cool. Wonderful. Makes me so very happy. Alright. Well, uh, there's nothing to it but to do it, I guess. Just keep traveling this way and hope I don't get eaten. I haven't come through this way in Jerry in a long... Well, I've never come by this way in Jerry. Well, I don't hear any more roaring, so I'm taking that as a good sign. Uh, what do we got down here? Whoa, that's what we got down here. Holy cow. You're just, boom, right there. It's gonna do me like that, are you? Well, fine. We should just ignore you entirely and move on. Ugh, what a jerk. Alright, fine. We'll start this from the base. I know where a few of these things are uh, close to the base. So, let's get our go on. Yes, 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 through the kelp. Delicious kelp. That's fine. You know, technically needed to stop back at base anyways. What happened to this one? Ew, what tore into you? I'm pretty sure I've already gotten anything that was inside of you. You're this close. But I'm always curious. Like, did the stalkers get them? I know there's stalkers, like, literally everywhere around this area, but... I kind of feel like the stalkers don't have the capability to tear into one of the life pods like that, too. Hey, maybe they do. Maybe I just lucked out by having my life pod, uh, the floaties on it, still work. 
and therefore I didn't sink to the bottom to get eaten. Well, I also landed in the safe shallows where there are no stalkers. Okay, so what has happened now is the game is glitched into thinking I'm still on land. That's why we hear the stomping noises. And I am curious if I stop. Nope, game still thinks I'm on dry land. Cool. So if I hop off of dry land, pop out of the water, and sink back down. Okay, we have fixed it which was something that was going to have to happen. Had to be able to fix it so that we could actually enter the base. Which, if I'm making my guess correctly, is currently without power, probably. Okay. And ascend. Oh, maybe the base does have power. Welcome aboard, Captain. Why, thank you, base. It's good to be here. Nice to be back. There's nothing in you. Uh, do I have anything to put in you? Oh, I got a bunch of acid mushrooms I can put in you. That'll work. Alright, fluid intake. Don't mind if I do. Grab up on both of them. Did I take all of my food out of here with me? Probably. Sounds like something I would do. That is absolutely something that I did, but that's okay, because I have this stuff. And it's good for food anyways. Alrighty. Um, first things first, there should be a sea crown close by to where I'm at. Um, I didn't really scan very many plants, so I don't expect them to show up on that. But there should be a sea crown uh, right here close by to the entrance to the mushrooms. Or in the mushroom area. If I remember correctly, the sea crown is one of the rare plants in the game. Or rarer plants in the game. Is it in the other entrance to the mushrooms? Which is high. Nothing to worry about there, just uh, one of the kombucha mushroom people tea posing outside of his mushroom. Uh, let's see, where's that other entrance at? It should be over here. Maybe that's where the sea crown is. Because otherwise, I'm gonna have to look it up searching for it that way, and that's always a pain. No, there's another hole somewhere. That sounds... sounded worse than I intended it. I know there's another entrance to this place somewhere. Don't want to play with you, buddy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ascend. Ascend. Uh, I'm on the mushroom. No, not there. Recheck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's an angry sandy shark boy down there. All right, land on the mushrooms. Jump jets grow back. And now let's get out of here. one by the mushroom entrance. Because I thought I saw it earlier. Like, what much, much earlier while we were playing. I could have sworn. Maybe I just missed it over here. 
mean, as we all know, I'm not terribly observant. I mean, sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm great at finding stuff that, you know, just kind of pops out to me. Other times, I'm basically hopeless. Uh, you're one of the basket dudes. I don't need you. I need a secret. I might have to look this up, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to go back down there. No! 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 Okay. Oh. Oh. For whatever reason, I saw that, and I thought it was... Hey! You back it up, dude! You back off me and Franklin! We'll have none of your riffraff. I just miss it when I jump down this way. That sounds like the kind of silly thing that I would do. Yeah, maybe not. I grapple hook into the base. Oh, I got it. I got it. Grab me. Grab me. Yay. All right. Well, I know where an eyeball stock is, and I know where the ghost weed is. Those are both in the uh, trench, the blood gulp trench. Blood gulch trench? The blood trench. Um... Go ahead and repair Franklin up. He's had a day of it. And let's see, energy is still charging. Okay, so we'll wait for Franklin to be done charging. In the meantime, I can grab me a cup of coffee. I'm trying to think, Sea Crown, Sea Crown. I know I saw one while we were out messing around, goofing off doing stuff. just can't remember where it's at. You know what? I'm going to take a moment and enjoy my coffee, and when I come back, I will have the information that we seek. Oh, sorry. I forgot which keys my uh, pause button was, so... Uh, Alright, give me just a moment, and I'll be right back. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Alrighty, welcome back. So, I was correct about there being one in the mushroom area, the jelly shroom area. Um, where it is at, though, it's in a caves area near here. But there's, you know, I, I'm not even going to trouble myself with trying to find this one right now. Um, because I know where a few more are. Uh, like I said, the jelly, or jelly shroom, the crown, sea crown plant is one of the rarest in Subnautica. There's only certain locations where they show up in. Uh, one of the locations being at the entrance here to the jelly shroom caves, which, you know, I thought that meant that it was just going to be like right here. But well, apparently not. I know there's other entrances to the Jelly Shroom Cave, so I'm not that heavily concerned about it. But, you know, whatever. So, what I'm going to go and check out next is actually over at the Blood Trench. Now, that should lead us over the top of an eyeball stock thing. And then we can also find our way into the mushroom forest, which will provide us with a fungal sample. And then it's just a short hop, you know, a little bit more south that takes us to go away. You suck. Just go away forever. All right, here's the eyeball stocks. Pop out and, uh, uh oh, that's a tiger plant. Well, get that, and then bounce. Get away from there, because that tiger plant, those guys are, uh, they're jerks, and I don't like them. 
don't like them at all. But then we need to hop into the trench, as stated earlier, because in the trench, did I just come back out the same way I was going? Yes, I did. <laughs> Look at that. Then we need to hop over into the blood trench, because that will have the uh, ghost weed. Which I think the ghost weed just... Jeez, why don't you just let one go then, did you? just hop on down and we're going to do one of two things. We're going to find ourselves in the bulb zone or we're going to find ourselves in the blood trench. Which I know the bulb zone is off to the left. So. You know what? I should probably save the game before I go too much further. Just in case I'm terribly wrong about what I'm walking into. So the last thing I need right now is to find myself at the mercy of Reaper Leviathans. Oh, we found an underwater vent. It's not what I was looking for, but hey. Found it. What the crap was that? sounds. Just consistently weird sounds. And weird places, too. You know, I'm just minding my own business walking along here, and all of a sudden somebody's like, Rat! or whatever noise that was. There's another wreck. Are you the Blood Kelp Church? You seem deeper. Blood Kelp? Kelp and Blood? There's a thing on the ground here. Is this an... Have I not made it to this life pod? Second officer key. Integrate new PDA data. I don't see anything inside of the life pod. Something obviously already came in and ate whoever was in there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, thank you, Jerry. You, sir, are just a treat. Alright, I wish to go... Let's see, we've been headed west. I guess I can just continue in that direction. You know, a more prepared person would have, uh... Put a marker at the entrance to the Blood Trench. That way I just always knew where it was. Because this is beginning to feel more and more like the dunes. Or the crash site. It may also be the Sparse Reef. Which means that if I head due south, I should end up in the Grand Reef. Right? There's the Grand Reef. That's fine. We need some of you bulbs, too. So, uh, we'll find one uh, a little bit closer to the ground. One that I feel a little... S well, I guess I feel safe enough going out and smacking you with a knife. So, uh, let's do that. Don't blow up! Okay, that's clearly not where I get that from. Did I not get the bulb sample from a bulb? Huh. Was I wrong about this? I believe so. Ah! Oops. Sorry. I didn't mean to smack my mouse right then. 
Maybe there's a different bulb that it needs a sample from. I don't know. Let's check it out. Why not? Don't mind me. I know I'm looking at my phone and we're not moving in the game, and I'm sorry. Alright. One more pause real quick. Hang on. Hello everyone, and welcome back. Uh, sorry that pause took a little bit longer than I expected. Um, I did make it to the Blood Kelp Trench, however. And now we're walking through it and looking for that ghost weed. Which should just be right up here. It's uh, basically in the ghost... or in the Lost River. Which I'm dropping into as we speak. Might be some a little bit higher up, so I'm trying to kind of keep my eyes open for it. That way, I don't know, have to go all the way back down, but it looks like it's gonna make me go all the way back down. Hello, prawn suit thing. More prawn suit stuff. Huh. Wasn't aware that you guys were there. It's part of the nuclear reactor. I already have that though. So, don't really need another one. Yeah. Ah, this looks like a lovely dark abyss to throw myself down. Here we go! Whee! Slam! Did that go the right way? None of this seems very Lost River-ish. I think this is just a hole. There's like an extra little down spot here. Huh. Interesting. I did not even realize that there was such a place. Good to know. Oh, there it is. There's the ghost weed. Alrighty, pop on out and give you a slice. Cool, we are two for five. Alright, now I need to get out of here, actually. I guess I could cut through the Lost River. As uh, The next place that I need to go is the Bulb Zone. Not the one at the Grand Reef, but the other one. On the other side of everything. You know what? I think I am. I think I'm just going to cut through. And, uh, pop back out on that other side. Is this one that leads to the brain crabs? I don't think it is. Ooh! And as soon as I say it, it doesn't come true. It's cool. I think we outran them. Alright, so just got to, uh, skip through this little part right here. And, you know... Jump us back out on the other side of life. Should be quick and easy. Then from the bulb zone, I'm actually going to head back to the uh, sea leviathan area. Well, after the bulb zone and after I take a quick stop at the... Am I going the right way? I think I'm coming up at the Grand Reef. Yeah, I'm definitely coming up at the Grand Reef. It's not where I wanted to go. How did I get so easily turned around? Ah, oh, this place is a maze. Alright, well, um, this is actually going to do it for this episode. So, uh, let me go ahead and save that game. Um, I, I'll go ahead and I'll grab the, the bulb zone bit, because it's the bulb bush, not the bulb trees. The bulb trees are the big balloons being held by four vines down on the bottom that remind me of, like, hot air balloons. Um, the bulb bush is a smaller thing exclusively found in the northern bulb zone next to the mountains and the floating island and everything else like that. Which, we're going to head back into the Sea Emperor Leviathan's uh, containment lair because therein is a sea crown. 
And there's also some in the bulb zone. So if I find one in the bulb zone, then I'll get that one. If not, then I'll go and find the one in the Sea Emperor's uh, containment tank thing. And then the fungal stuff is just from the mushroom forest. So I, I think I'm going to go ahead and do all that off camera. And that way, when we come back, we will just have the hatching enzyme. And that will be the start of the episode. Because I feel like I'm doing a lot of run around and not getting a whole lot accomplished with you guys. So we'll, we'll try and get that out of the way. Um, I do have a couple of nifty things planned for us to do together before we leave this planet. So even after I hatch the Sea Emperors and, uh, you know, cure the Kara virus and gain the ability to turn off the gun, that way I can build the Neptune rocket and get out of here. We're not actually going to do that until I am able to do a couple little fun things. Uh, we're we're going to be going up against some of the biggest, baddest creatures in the game. Fully grown ghost leviathans, reaper leviathans, and even the sea dragon, I think. And we're going to take them all down. We're going to establish some dominance on this rock. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Please leave it a like. Please leave it a comment. And I will see you guys in the next one. So, Papa Grimgrin signing off. Bye-bye!